Okay, I'm just turning this on. I'm just turning this on because I don't know. I need to. I need to just blabber. Things feel sticky. They feel stuck. Um, they're loosening, certainly, but shit's just felt fucking weird. I don't know. Especially yesterday. But it's been on and off for a couple of days. And, uh... I don't, know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I... I feel frustration. I feel agitation. I feel shame, guilt, that kind of crap. There's definitely a thing happening around money. And it's just, I'm tired of it. I spent... closed. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get back on the freeway from where I just was. It feels like being rerouted. Um, like the, the usual things, the things that I was used to, like I just got into a routine. Like I just started to have a, a sense of relaxing into something. And then it feels like it, it got shifted. And I've been doing, I, I did a lot of traveling. At the end of September, and there would have been more traveling fucking this past weekend if my fiance hadn't gotten sick. And I am so incredibly grateful that that happened and gave me the opportunity to say no to this continued traveling because it would have been more time spent with members of my family and I, I love them. They're wonderful people, but the energy is hard to be around and it is the energy of well, people who are very wealthy and very much want to keep that wealth. And that's, that's what I keep having presented to me is people who have money, but now because they have money, they're afraid of losing that money, right? They become accustomed to a certain way of life that that money affords. And there is this continuous underlying anxiety that it could all be taken away. And so there's a lot of possessiveness of the money. It's, it's mine, right? It's my money. I earned it. I worked for it. It's mine. And that sense of ownership that leads to perceiving other people who want money without struggle other people who feel worthy of financial abundance without the hustle and the struggle, uh, they're, they're not worthy, right? They're, they're lazy and entitled. They, there's that perspective. And, uh, you know, if you want money, just work hard for it. Just go back to college and get the degree and, uh, become an investment banker and just live this fast-paced, high-stress life. And it just, it, it's gotten things all icky and twisted up about money for me. I've seen these people for whom money is simultaneously a blessing and a, a curse because 
they're constantly worried about it. They have so much of it, and they're constantly worried about it. Worried about where it's going to come from and where it's going. And, and so having the more money hasn't changed the feeling of insecurity there. Isn't that why we want... That's That's why I have believed that I desire more money is for, yes, freedom, but also security. This feeling of financial stability, of I don't have to worry anymore because there's plenty of money. There's plenty coming in, so there can be plenty going out, and it's, it's all good, and there's no more worry, but having more money doesn't change that. I don't think it makes people feel more free, either. Because as always, it's not the thing that we actually want. We think we want things because of the way that we think they'll make us feel. But it's the feeling that we want, and the feeling that I'm desiring is one of tapping into and knowing and experiencing my freedom knowing and experiencing my security, knowing that I am supported in a much bigger way, that I am supported by the universe. Not just a job or the stock market or what have you. I am supported by the universe. I am cared for divinely. The freedom and the security lie in that knowledge. And I can have that knowledge with or without money. And it, it doesn't mean I can't have money, but the money doesn't bring that. The money doesn't bring that. It has nothing to do with money. <laughs> it has everything to do with me deciding to tap into that within myself, into my knowledge and trust that I am taken care of, I am provided for, in a much, much bigger, untouched by man kind of way. That the universe has my back, and that whatever I ask for, truly ask for, because I contradict myself in my asks a lot, whatever I ask for is given, and it's right to me, and I can't get it wrong, so I just, I'm all fuckled up around the, this money block shit that is like, you know part of me that's saying you deserve to have all of this money and you're just not letting yourself have it because you don't believe that you're worthy of it and you, you're you afraid of taking the steps that would lead you towards it and then this other part of me that is just tired of giving a damn it's tired of giving a fuck about any of it. Have money or don't have money. I don't, I'm tired of caring. <sighs> the part that's like, yo, you could reach your highest potential and be of service to so many people and of value to so many people. And, and that's your, your soul's purpose. And, and then the rest of me that's like, tired, dude. I, I'm just tired. I just, I just want to live. I just want to enjoy existing. myself feel like I'm failing. I 
know that there's a bigger piece to this. I know that I'm feeling things that other people are feeling. I'm feeling stuff that is bubbling up on a collective level. Of just, it's just this fed upness. Just fucking fed up with the way we've been doing this for so long. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of caring. I just want to be satisfied with what is. That's, that's real fucking power. Tapping into satisfaction regardless of what is not needing it to change, not caring if it changes. Oh, and the masculine part of me that says, but then, then you just, you're settling. You're settling. That's what, that's the threat. It'll come up with any way to fucking convince me out of just feeling good right now. Anything it can say. But if you were just content, if you were if you were content with what is, then nothing would change and it would all be it would all just stagnate and be the same and you wouldn't fulfill your potential and you would never improve, you would never progress. What about progress? We would never progress if we were just happy with what is. There would be no progress. That's what the masculine says inside of me. But that's what the masculine says. We would all just sit sit around and, and nothing would ever get better. First of all, change is inevitable. Change will happen. Change happens. Change is not something that we can control. Evolution, not our work. Not something that we control. So we can make a big fuss, a big scene, look like we're doing a whole bunch of shit and the river flows anyway. We're not the ones flowing the river. The river flows. If we stop pushing, it doesn't stop moving. Whatever you call progress still happens. And furthermore, what what does that even mean? What are we progressing, really? Isn't the point of being here, isn't anything anybody wants to feel good to just feel good and if I could just do that if I can just do that if I can cut out the middleman if I can skip all these extra steps of we gotta we gotta progress and we gotta push and strive and achieve and become more if I could just realize that's happening anyway that's not something we can take credit for that's not our doing that's nature which yes we are we are a part of and we are it but it's just, it's just happening naturally because that's what nature does. It grows, it evolves. We don't need our big fucking brains to engineer a way to expand. Nature is doing, that is our nature. Our nature is to expand, it is to grow. Growth is the natural result. Freedom is the foundation, growth the natural result, and the purpose is joy. And if I can just choose joy, why would I not do that? Why would I not just choose to feel good regardless whether money comes to me or not? Why would I not choose to trust that I'm taken care of? That when something is needed, when something is asked, it will be provided. Why would I not do that? Because then I would be going against the status quo. Then I won't fit in to this capitalistic, industrialized, colonialized society. If I'm just okay with being myself and being as I am and where I am at and how I am, if I'm okay with just being, and if I am, 
recognizing that yes, I desire freedom and that does not preclude or prevent a physically manifested experience of financial abundance, but it doesn't require it either. If I am choosing, if I have a strong desire to experience unconditional living and unconditional joy, then really I need some conditions. I need some conditions that challenge me. That I am asking for, if my deeper desire is to tap into and experience the unconditionality of my being, the unconditional joy and wellness and security and worthiness, then that necessitates, I think, some conditions that provide the opportunity for me to tap into that. If I simply have the, the physically manifested stuff, if all of the conditions automatically already are easy, are, are supporting that, if I have the piles of financial abundance, if I have the perfect body and the perfect health, again, that doesn't prevent me from experiencing unconditionality, but it kind of tempts me away from it. It kind of distract. It makes it easier to look at the stuff and go, oh yeah, there it is. There's the stuff, the stuff that I like. And it's the stuff that makes me feel good. It's the stuff that makes me feel free and abundant. And the stuff that makes me feel healthy and worthy. And I kind of need that stuff not to be there physically. I need it to be obscured in order to test me in order to push me into the place of really reaching for and obtaining an unconditional perspective. A perspective that sees beyond what is physically presented to me. And I have a desire for that. There is a deep desire for that in me. So I think it's all going exactly according to plan and I, I am <laughs> I am creating conditions in order to push myself into deeper unconditionality into true power into recognizing that my joy and my well-being and my abundance and my freedom and my security are mine and they're never not mine and they are mine to tap into and mine to experience regardless of what is physically manifested and occurring in a present moment and again that doesn't mean any wanting any of those things is bad I, I still want those things that's why I'm tapping into them unconditionally because I want to because I want to experience them and yes, there's a desire to experience that in the physically manifested world, but there's less of a need then. If I recognize that I can fulfill those desires within me without anything changing, then I don't need the without to change. It's allowed to. It's welcome to. Yes, there's still desire for that, but it's not required to change for me to have this experience. I know that tapping into this is what opened up the pathways for me to meet the person that I'm marrying. I know that. I know that I was driven into finding union and support within myself. And once I did that, when I deeply did that and I accepted and I found the experience of companionship internally, This unfolded. <laughs> but I didn't need it to either. I wanted it to, and I love it, and it's exciting, and I th I, I'm thrilled by it continuously. But it's not a requirement. And I know that it is born from, it's simply a reflection of what I have found within myself. And the same is true for her. We were both on this journey of finding completion internally. And really, really, really being satisfied, like feeling genuine satisfaction with that. 
And then this, our connection, comes about as just a reflection, just an extension, just the natural sort of byproduct, almost, of the internal connection. And so, what I am seeking is the internal, deliberate experience of security, of, of being taken care of, of emotional and physical security, as well as freedom. Tapping into the experience of abundance within myself, the experience of supportedness within myself. Deeper faith, deeper trust, doing it fucking differently than society tells us to. Because it's just that, that's just not, it's not satisfying for me going about it that way, outside in. I want the inside. And then whatever happens, happens, and it doesn't matter. Then the money can come, or not. It's fine. I trust, I trust that whatever I need is provided for. I trust that. I just, I have this strong desire to really be unconditionally. Unconditional in my experiences of what I desire to experience. And that's really very simple. It really is just love, security, freedom. You can call abundance, security, whatever. You can you can add that in there. That's that's kind of it. <laughs> and satisfaction, joy that wraps around all of it. I am qualified for joy. I am allowed to feel joy now. I am allowed to experience this life unconditionally and my joy unconditionally. That is allowed. I give myself permission for this. I am right to do so. That's it. I got, I... I don't fit anywhere else. And I, that's not some, it just, I just don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't have a desire to fit in this society. And I, I feel, I believe more and more people feel that way. Uh, I want to do it differently and I want to do it unconditionally. So. Fuck the rest. I choose unconditional joy today. And I am supported in this. Divinely and absolutely. As are you. That's it. Take it easy. <laughs>